We are now playing 9 4K files on a dual-core laptop with no dedicated graphics card, with the screen recording software running in the background, making this laptop even slower than it usually is. How did we do this? The trick is, we did not. Allow me to explain. Hi, I'm Alex Jordan from Learn Color Grading and FilmSimplified.com. So what are we doing today? We're going to be playing 9 4K files on a laptop, all at the same time. So this video is to show you that you do not need a high-end system to edit 4K files with Resolve. Let's take a look at the problem. This Resolve project contains only 4K files in order to test the limits of this laptop's playback. This laptop has only a dual-core CPU, an i5 processor, and no dedicated graphics. This is the integrated graphics card. And with this configuration, it can play one 4K file at a time, maybe two 4K files at the same time at most. But it certainly cannot play three 4K files at the same time, and of course not four 4K files at the same time, and let's not even discuss nine. It just doesn't play at all. So what is the solution? The solution is to use lower resolution proxy files. We discussed proxy files before. Proxy files are simply copies of the files you have in your bin that Resolve creates with a different file format that is easier to play on your computer than your original files. And Resolve handles everything in the background, so it creates the new files, it stores the files, and it handles the swapping uh, between uh, the original files and the copies. So what is new in this method uh, that makes it so effective? Well, we will be telling Resolve to create these copies of the original files using a lower resolution so that we will be editing and playing lower resolution files and when the time comes to export the project, Resolve will revert uh, back to the, um, resolution, the, the 4K resolution files so that the final exported file uh, will be in full resolution. Uh, this will give us the best of both worlds. Uh, we will be editing uh, HD or even SD files, which are easy to edit and playback, but the final exported project will be a full 4K. Let's take a look at the steps to implement this. First, we need to set the preferences by going to Settings in the lower right of the screen here, and in Master Settings, we have a special section for Optimized Media and Render Cache. And in this section, the first two options, so the first two drop-down menu, allows us to set the format that will be used for the copies. Let's start with the second box. This is where we can set the new file formats that Resolve will be using to create the copies. So on a Mac, I will set this to ProRes 422 Proxy. And if you're on Windows, you can simply scroll down and select DNxHRLB. Now let's get back to the first box. This is where all the magic happens. Even though the original files are in 4K, through this drop-down menu, we can tell Resolve to create the clones with a lower resolution. So we can choose between original, half, quarter, 1 8th, or even 1 16th. So let's start by setting this to quarter resolution in order to make it easier to play in the system. And I'll simply hit save. So what did we do so far? Well, nothing happened. We just set the format that Resolve will use once we tell it to create the clone files that are easier to play. Now, all what we need to do is to tell Resolve to create the copies that are easier to play. We can do that by simply right-clicking on a file, whether in the timeline or the media pool, and selecting Generate Optimized Media. And Resolve will start creating the new files. And to convert all the files at once, of course, we only did one file so far, to do all the files, I'll select all the files at the same time, right-click, and select Generate Optimized Media. And again, we have to wait for it to finish. So now that we have uh, the clones of the files ready, we need to tell Resolve which files to use, so the clones or the original. We can do that by simply going to the playback menu and checking the Use Optimized Media If Available option. If this option is unchecked, so there is no check box to the left of it, Resolve will be using the original 4K files when editing. And if it's checked, so I'll click here, come back to playback, and now it's checked, Resolve will be playing the cloned smaller files. So let's make sure it's clicked and test the playback now. I will start by playing one file and it plays smooth, scrubs smooth, 
Then let's play uh, two files. So these are two 4K files being played at the same time. And now let's try three files, something we couldn't do before, and it's playing smoothly. Actually, I can scrub the three files very easily. Now let's move to four files and I'll play, and I'm playing four 4K files at the same time. Then let's move to six 4K files and we're playing them and editing them smoothly. And then we'll move to nine files. And this is where I think we'll hit a wall. Yes, they're playing, but not very smooth. The cool thing here is that if we face any trouble with playing lots of 4K files on this laptop, we can go back to settings, then to optimize me and render cache section. And from the first drop down menu, select an even lower resolution. Like for example, I select 1 16th now, which is a lot, but we're just trying to push the system to its limit here to see how much of a playback improvement we can get. And I will simply hit save. And now I need to tell Resolve to create the new files. So select all the files, right click, generate optimized media, and just wait for it to finish. First, before we play it, we need to make sure that we're telling Resolve to play the optimized files by going to the playback menu and making sure the use optimized media if available option is checked. And let's check the playback now. I'll come now to the nine files at the same time, play, and everything is playing smooth. I can even scrub through all the files very easily. Note that this is a trick. We did not really play 4K files here. We simply created smaller files to edit. So uh, what are the downsides of their system? First, we are previewing a lower resolution image. Of course, this does not affect the quality of the final rendered video file. That will still be full resolution. Also, we might end up using lots of storage if we needed to render many clones that are easier to edit. However, we can delete the files we created any time right from within Resolve by simply going to the playback menu and selecting delete optimized media. But on the upper side, anyone can edit 4K files on almost any laptop, and that is just great. Well, if you like my teaching style, I'm sure you love our free crash course. The crash course covers all the different tabs in Resolve. To sign up, just head to filmsimplified.com or click uh, on the link in the description. Thanks. filmsimplified.com